too. Looking at it, flicking off the conveyor belts is hugely satisfying knowing that uh, that's your image, it's on the front cover and within days it's going to be on the news stand. It would really make my day if I could get one good picture of a hammerhead. Uh, firstly, you've got to look and understand the image you're trying to, to get in the first place. Um, understand the subject, understand how it's going to behave, and then you'll be able to position yourself underwater uh, to get the best shot. My advice, if you wanted to go and take pictures of sharks, go with an expert. Go with somebody that's been doing it regularly, and who's uh, very conscious of safety, is not trying to make a name for themselves by showing off, and somebody who cares more about the sharks than they care about uh, you getting a good picture. On the second day, the hammerheads turned up. Uh, they were with us for about three or four hours, and with the new digital technology allowing me to take uh, upwards of 100 high-quality images, uh, we managed to get some very, very successful footage. I want to see something of the animal's personality, some sort of feeling that it gives you. Well, that is literally a, a great hammerhead looking straight at And where are the eyes? You can see them, just a little bit of black on either side. You, you, the person would say the eyes have got to be here, and obviously we know they're here, yeah. but that's the, uh, the spikiness of it. You've got what, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight fins. Uh, you know, instantly visible, and the tail just giving that um, flick as though it's you know, that's coming straight. Well, well, that's partly what makes the image. The good thing is you've got a straight horizontal, you've got the vertical, the the, the thing which will be going on about quite a lot. I knew as soon as I pressed the shutter release that the image was caught. It was going to be a great image. Um, about half a second later, I, I confirmed that by looking in the back of the viewfinder, and it was the full-on, it was the facial shot that, uh, that we'd been waiting for. We all know what a hammerhead shark looks like. Show me what a hammerhead shark feels like. Show me something about, well, why is it interesting? Because most people, you know, it's just a fish. Show me why it's a great fish. It gives you an excuse to get closer to the subjects. You're, you're going to get as close as you possibly can. If you're shooting macro, you're going to be inches away from a subject. If you're shooting wide-angle sharks, you're going to be inches to feet away from a, your subject. And, and that's, that's sort of, you, if you've got a really good picture, you know you were really close and you were really part of that action. And that's, that's exciting. Generally, the, the same uh, theory of applies to all shark photography, back off and they'll approach you. If Britain is going to have some charismatic megafauna in the ocean, I say let it be the basking shark. The picture that you're looking at now um, won a highly commended award in the British Wildlife, uh, British Gas uh, uh, Photographer of the Year competition. It's about as good a picture as I could have taken under the conditions. Photographing Caribbean leaf sharks is superb fun because they're just hugely inquisitive. They're very unafraid of man. Uh, having said that, they very, very rarely attack man. But they'll come right up to the lens. Their sensory perceptions of electrical signals are enormous and the flash guns give off huge amounts of electricity. And so they're not quite sure what they are. Uh, they frequently bump into them, testing them to see if they're uh, fish. But having said that, they, they do it in an unthreatening way. Nasher was the end of a long odyssey to get, for me, the ultimate great white shark picture. There's something about looking through a viewfinder and knowing when to, to touch the trigger that you know that you've captured a moment. To me, this, this is the shot that, that I wanted, and I'm, I, you know, I hope I can do better someday, but, but if not, that I, I feel I captured the moment. Sharks get your attention. They make great subjects. They're beautiful, and um, I, I hope that I get to see a lot more sharks.
Shark cell. Um, over the last 12 months, we've done some research and consistently, every time we put a shark on the front cover, the uh, new stem cells improve between about 10 and 15 percent. It's only when uh, it's printed, it suddenly becomes a, a tangible item.